Are there signs of evolution in your body? Millions have watched this video that claims that some of our arm and ear muscles, as well as goosebumps and our tailbones, are leftovers from our supposed evolutionary past. Let's find out if this is true. But first, let's see the big picture. In the 1890s, so called vestigial organs numbered as high as 180. Now, modern science is actually down to zero. The most recent so called vestigial organs to make the we actually need these list are the tonsils, the appendix, and the pineal gland. We've learned that the tonsils and appendix help fight off infection. The pineal gland is critical for biorhythms and sleep. Are our ear muscles vestigial? This video claims that we have three ear muscles that are leftovers from evolution and that our ears make a futile effort to pick up sounds from different directions. However, these muscles have structural purposes, not directional. During our development in the womb, these muscles affect the shaping of the ear. When they don't develop properly, all sorts of abnormalities emerge that can require surgery. These helpful muscles anchor the ears during development, support blood circulation to the side of our heads, protect the underlying structures, and stabilize the outer ear in its proper location. So, while our ear muscles were not intended to move to better capture sound, they serve other purposes as though they were designed. In fact, aren't we missing something here? Like the amazing design of the ear itself? Our sophisticated hearing system is made up of five separate components that don't make any sense by themselves, but when combined together, they make a complete system that allows us to hear. It all starts with the outer ear, which is specially shaped to capture sound waves so they can travel through the ear canal. These sound waves press against our eardrums and wiggle three tiny bones, called the hammer, anvil, and stirrup, that amplify the signal by a factor of 1.7 times using leverage. This mechanical process converts to a hydraulic process by pressing against the cochlea, which again amplifies the signal, this time by a factor of 22 times. The fluid inside the cochlea moves over 20,000 microscopic hair cells that are connected by tiny molecular linking springs causing an electromechanical transduction process that transforms the sound vibration into a neural signal that is immediately comprehended as speech. Just how did evolution dream all of this up? These five separate systems, each of which is purposeless and meaningless without the others, all connecting to make an overall hearing system that truly shows intentional design. Without the cranial hearing nerve, what good are thousands of multi-length hair cells that interpret various sound frequencies? If the hair cells were not bathed in a solution with the perfect ratio of potassium and calcium, how could they transfer the sound signal? What purpose would the cochlea serve without the three tiny ear bones that amplify the signal just enough for the whole thing to work? And did you know there's even a tiny tendon between the hammer and anvil that shifts the stirrup backward to protect the ear when sounds are too loud? How did chance evolution think that one up? Our hearing system is even self-lubricated with drainage tubes. And to think, this entire system runs on energy from what we ate for breakfast. Our hearing system has been carefully engineered to take invisible sound waves through a complex system that turns them into electrical signals that are heard as sound and immediately comprehended as speech. What's amazing is that we even do this in stereo. Having ears on both sides of our head enables us to determine the direction and distance of sounds almost immediately. Our brain even tracks how long it takes for sound to travel from one ear to the other to determine speed. How amazing is that? Our hearing system even does all of this while keeping our balance along the pitch, roll, and yaw axis. Realistically speaking, how could something like this evolve? Doesn't the design explanation make more sense? How could such an interconnected, interdependent, complex hearing system arise by mere chance with no intentional design? Even the starting systems in cars, which also have five components, are obviously put together by a designer to serve an overall purpose that is only evident when they are all put together in a certain way. Indeed, the five components of our hearing system were put together at the same time when we were made as complete, functioning humans who are well equipped for taking dominion over this planet God gave us. Some random hodgepodge of matter plus energy and time has never produced something with such function, purpose, and cohesiveness, with all of the independent parts requiring the other to make anything of use or value. Truly, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. In closing, we would like to share why we make these videos. For those who are already Christians, we hope these videos strengthen your faith. It's important that Christians know they can trust God's Word all the way back to the beginning.
especially in a world saturated with evolution teaching. To those being drawn to faith in Christ, trusting in God's Word is part of that process. Even though you might not fully believe in these things now, we pray you will grow in trust and understanding that God's Word is both scientifically and historically credible, all the way back to the beginning. Your faith journey begins with repentance and turning away from your sins, realizing that Christ suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God. In the words of Jesus, Most assuredly, I say to you, He who hears my word and believes in Him who sent me has everlasting life, and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. We encourage you to take this first step to a new life. Looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores for answers to these questions and more.